Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix on the PS3. Last time, we did some more of the mini games in the Hundred Acre Wood in our quest to help Pooh Bear. To include getting him unstuck from uh, Rabbit's house and protecting Rabbit's uh, vegetables from Tigger, a very happy go lucky tiger. Uh, we also completed the honey mini game over here at the big tree. And then lastly, we uh, took Pooh Bear on a swing, which was a little harder than I remember to be. Anyways, now we got a few more things to do, and we'll be done. Of course, it might take a little while to do them all, but we'll try. Let's see. So, oh, never mind. I was still getting something else. Alright, I think this is it right No, Where am I looking for? Uh, let's see. Where am I looking? For? Oh, here we go. Right here. A clearing crowded with tree stumps. Take a look. Sure, why not? It's a giant honey pot. Okay. That works, I guess. Alright, let's go talk to everybody over here who's a uh, little baby kangaroo. This here is my bouncing spot. We can bounce around here all day. Nothing beats bouncing. You want to bounce too, Sora? It's lots of fun. Lots of fun. Alright, fine. Let's do it. To bounce with the finest, you need some pointers from the finest. Could that be Tigger then, since he's the finest bouncer around? I'm afraid you're right. I can't master everything, I suppose. Bounce this way, please. Alrighty. I don't think this thing moves when we go on it, does it? No? Huh. Oh well. Tigger bounce. Watch Tigger's bouncing pattern and then follow his lead. Here's a little warm up. Alright, so it's just following him and remembering where he bounces. Gotcha. And I think if you fall down, then you lose. Yeah. Alright, let's try that again. Stop. There you go. Right, let's actually make it over there this time. There you go. I think if you uh, bounce to another stump, that counts as a uh, loss. Alright, let's go for another one, shall we? Now it gets tricky. Okay. Alright, so... Over here. Ah, okay, I should have turned the camera. Try this again. There you go. Luckily, you don't have to do it in a certain amount of time, so that makes it a little easier. But if there was a time limit on this, I would probably never get it done. Ta da! Alright, what's more, big guy? You're doing fantastical. This will be the last one. <laughs> I 
Uh, I'm not sure how the heck I'm supposed to get up there, but uh, I guess I can try. Okay, that works too. Alright. Ooh, that was pure luck right there. You've got a mighty good at bouncing, Sora. Right, Rue? Okay. Hey, Tigger. I think he's ready for the big one. Well, there's only one way to find out. Tigger's giant pot. Whack the nuts back in the pot to shatter it. Alright. So we just gotta whack him back in the pot then. Okay. Alright, the key to this minigame is obviously you have to stay on the stumps. Or actually, you don't have to. Actually, you do. Never mind. Forget what I was saying. You have to stay on the stumps. But anyways, uh, the key to this minigame is actually uh, using a long keyblade like the pumpkin uh, head we got here, and uh, jumping uh, to get the uh, the pots, or not the pots, uh, the nuts that he's throwing at us to uh, hit higher up on the pot to do more damage. <laughs> or actually to get into the pot or something like that, I forget which one. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta beat it in 30 seconds or less in order to, uh, get the, uh, cheer. Right, let's see if we can't get out to a better tree stump, though. Hey, will you stay up on the, uh... He's not wanting to stay up on the stumps here. Okay, maybe you don't gotta stay on the stumps. I thought you did. Dang it. Ah, I missed. I think if he missed the, the nuts, maybe that's what it is. But either way, like I said, you gotta destroy the pot in 30 seconds in order to, uh, under, th under 30 seconds to get the, uh, the cheer. That didn't work out so well. Okay, I'm honestly not sure what causes it to stop the minigame then, because uh, here I am off the nut. One point, that should have been more than one point, but oh well. I don't remember these being this challenging last time I played the game so many years ago. There's Pooh Bear over there, but I'm determined to get this first. That should do two points, right? Yes, okay, good. Or not. Okay, that works. 
There we go. Come on. Oh, you son of a bitch! Why'd you target the fucking thing over there? What? What the fuck did I target? Did I target one of you guys? Yeah. You stay on the trees. Where the fuck did that kangaroo go? Oh, there he is. It's way over here. I wish we didn't start on this particular stub. Okay, maybe maybe you have to stay on this stub. Never mind. I thought you could move. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this damn thing, so. Oh well. Back up. There you go. I guess if you jump too far away from the stump, maybe that's what it is. Fucking aim at the fucking. You know, let me see if taking off that damn uh, ability helps. Let me see if that actually do helps at all. Sometimes taking that ability off for stuff like this might help. Dude, stay on the tree. That tree stump, that tree stump cannot be that big that a high jump cannot get up there. Okay, yeah, that's better. Dude. Yeah, I think it works a lot better without that aerial sweep ability. If I can hit the first one. Look at this damn thing eventually. Stop targeting. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna grab that right there just so it fucking stops targeting me if I can't grab it. There, okay, there. Now, stop targeting this thing.
You know, spending my evenings playing with uh, Tigger's Nuts is not the uh, best time I've ever had, that's for sure. What the fuck? Okay, this tree stump sucks. And Rue, you need to move closer, that way I don't gotta walk halfway across the uh, clearing to be told to redo the damn thing. Okay, good. As long as I get this last hit. Alright, there we go. Finally. Alright, let's see what we got. What was in that damn thing? There was. An AP up. Very good. I'll take that. And I'll use it. Actually, you know what? Let's not use it yet. Let's see what else. Let's see what other items are in this area. There's actually a pretty good amount of items in here, so let's uh go grab them all, shall we? Let's see, if we get up here... Huh, I thought there was supposed to be something up here. Ah, oh, so in that tree over there, okay. There we go. We get a dark matter. Okay, very nice. Ah, oh, what do you want? Rare nuts grow on these trees. I'll trade you things for them. Okay. He wants Tigger's nuts. Gotcha. Thanks, Rue. I appreciate that. Okay, I guess we can't break that anymore. Uh, I think we can grab this bad boy right here, though. How do we get? How do we grab this thing? I forgot. You know, let me look just real fast because I forget how to get these things. Hello, piglet. I wonder what this is. Well, what is this? Probably the uh, part of the uh, tree that I just broke, or the pot, or whatever it was. You know, let's just uh, talk to the uh, peoples here. Where'd Pooh? And okay, Pooh Bear was in the way the entire time I was doing that damn. Oh, there he is. Okay. That was a lot more annoying than I thought it would be. This tree doesn't have honey, I see. Let's go try the seesaw. Okay, fine. If you insist. Who do you want to be your seesaw partner? Uh, Rue. Why not? That gets us up here. Okay. A rare nut. And apparently we can't get that one. We can only get this. Unless you can only carry one at a time. Alright, let's take this bad boy back to uh, Owl. And we get a power up. Very nice. Okay, we can only carry one at a time, apparently. And we get a defense up. There we go. And let's go for Tigger, because we got the two rare nuts over there. And now we get over here. Let's see, we got an item over there. If I can get to it. Okay, let's try not to uh, overshoot our boundaries there. Let's try this way, actually. No, I think that way was the, uh, the wrong way.
Alright. We're on a sturdy branch, and I see a... Ah, you son of a bitch. I almost had that, but uh, I kind of fell off. What does that do? Oh, okay. That does that. I wonder what this is. Oh, okay, that takes us, uh, we get over here, but what does that do? Oh, here's another nut. Okay. Well, let's see, what's the point of that? Let's see if we can't get a good view of the area. Yeah, I can't really see a whole lot from up here. Owl, well, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. And I forget, I didn't even see what he gave me. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I have no idea. It was something, I don't know. Alright, this little bad boy right here. And a shield 2G, okay. Uh, shields are the ones that, uh, prevent damage on gummy ships instead of uh, reduces it. Alright, let's try to get over there. There we go. And a mithril shard. We get a lot of those. Let's see, is there anything over here? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, let's go back to uh, Tigger and get back up there again, because there was another branch we could have checked out. Alright, uh... I see it over there. There we go. I think that's the last one, I think. No, that one right there, we gotta get to that one, okay. And another AP up. That's a lot of those. But you know what? I'll take them. Uh, let's see. Let me try let me try this stump again here. Ah, okay. That's what it is. And we get an orc calcum. Look at all these nuts. We couldn't have done it without you. Well, thanks, Al. I appreciate that. And we got a pretty good stack of, uh, Ups. We got a power up, a defense, and two AP ups. We know who those go to. Sora. Sora. And Sora. Let's see. Can I put more abilities on? Uh, put you back on. Even though you're useless half the time. More irritating than anything. Hey, yeah, I guess we can put a tech boost on. Sure, why not? Uh, let me make sure there's no other items in this area, because I forget. Let's see, we got the Mithril Shard, we got the Shield 2G Gummy, we got the... Let's see... Okay, apparently, talking to Rue over here... Alright, so we're up here, and let's see... be a treasure chest here, unless I already got it. See it up? Is it even up there? I can't see. Uh, let's see. I don't see it. 
But it's supposed to be over where Rue jumps you up there. Um, Hang on. Uh, let's see. Huh. Oh, I think we already got it. Okay. Yeah, I think we already got whatever it was. Alright. I think we are done with this area. So let's get out of here. Yeah, we get a mithril, very nice. And we got one more mini game to play, so let's go to the very last area here. No, no, not here, dude. Uh, Alright, one more area. And let's see if we can't find it. It's around here somewhere. Not yet. Where is it? Um, let's see. Supposed to be around here somewhere. Did I get all the uh, torn pages? I thought I did, didn't I? Should be like right around here. Maybe I missed one of them. Did I get the one from the from the Dalmatians? You know, I don't. Maybe maybe I didn't turn in the one from the Dalmatians yet. So let's go let's go turn in the Dalmatians real fast and see if that's the one. So I know we got the one in Halloween Town. We got the one in Atlantica. We got the one in uh, Agrabah. We got the one in Monstro. And we got the one in Traverse Town. Or not, not the one in Traverse Town. Uh, we got all those other ones, though. I thought we got it. Mermaid Cake is supposed to make you swim a little faster in other waters, but it doesn't really do a whole lot, in my opinion. I feel kind of, kind of stupid if the uh, Dalmatian one was the one I missed, because I thought I got that one already. Thunder. 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 And I'm healing these bastards, aren't I? Yeah. Oh well. Not you guys, I was trying to do the fat guy. Oh, I totally forgot we got that damn uh, summon we could turn in. Screw you guys, I'm trying to get my donations. I could have swore we got this torn page ready though.
Okay, there it is. And we get a Mithril. And a Mega Elixir. Okay, so that was worth coming by anyways. Yeah, I can't believe that was the one I missed. Oh well. Let's go uh, take care of the last uh, 100 Acre Wood side quest then, shall we? Ah, you! Okay, we can kill them, just uh... Gotta do it before they call for the reinforcements. Okay, run, run, run. So now you don't get any experience, you don't get any items, and they hurt like a son of a bitch. Okay. You know, I think I have another, uh, I think I have enough, uh, frost shards to make another item here in synthesis, though. Since I think I was missing frost shards for something a few episodes ago. Get off the thing. Let's see, I can make... What was it I could make? I don't know. I have no idea. We can make a Mega Ether. Okay, I can do that, yeah. There we go. Alright. Get out of here. Let's go turn into that summon while while we're on our way. Oh, fire ring! I can sell that for some money. Not that I'm ever going to equip the damn thing. Not that it's a bad item, it's just it's outclassed, that's all it is. I'm getting pretty lucky with all the equipment drops in this game so far. At least that's what it seems like. I mean, most of the stuff that enemies drop are only useful for like the beginning portion of the game, like to procure a ring. I'm sure that's good for the beginning part of the game, but uh, they're not really that great for later. I mean, there are a few good items dropped from enemies. But those aren't till uh, the uh, final world, pretty much. Well, the second to last world, which is pretty close to the final world. All right, Mrs. Fairy Godmother. Oh, another summon gem. Let's help this little one. Here we go. Bippity boppity boo. And we run the summon spell, summon spell Bambi. All right, Bambi. What he does is he um, he prances around the field, uh, dropping MP balls like constantly. And at, for every certain number of heartless you defeat, he'll drop items as well. So the more uh, the more enemies you defeat while he's uh, while he's out and about, the more the better items you get. So if you can find an area with um, with a ton of area, uh, a ton of enemies that spawn in like one spot, and summon Bambi, you'll get a ton of, uh, well, maybe not a ton, but a, a pr pretty good amount of uh, items. And they're mostly they're mostly synthesis stuff, so he's really good for that. And also, he helps you, it helps with, with all the MP drops because you never run out of freaking uh, MP. Anyways, here we go. All right, a winding muddy path. Take a look. Sure. Take a look. Read a book. It's the reading Pooh Bear. All right, I see all everybody. Hello, Pooh Bear. What are you doing down here all by your lonesome? What are you doing, Pooh? Quiet, or they'll get away. Who? The people who took everyone away. See their footprints? We're all sticking together to make sure no one got lost again. 
but then I saw some footprints that needed following. So I did. Suddenly, everyone was gone. Bad people must have taken them away. Actually, Pua, I think those footprints are... Anyway, I'll help you look for your friends. Alright, so... If we walk out of Pooh Bear, he'll start following us again. And now what we gotta do is we gotta find all of Pooh's friends. So let's see, I think there's somebody hidden in here. There we go. Can I get in here? No. Alright, let's examine it. There we go. There's Eeyore. Eeyore? Hello. What are you doing? Looking for sticks to build my house. Again. Sticks for your house? This place already feels like a house. I was just about to say that. This is this seems like a pretty cozy little place to, to sit. Seems like a great spot to gather everyone once you find them. Help, help Pooh find his lost friends. Target him with R1 to guide him. Alright, so we gotta go find all of Pooh Bear's friends. Alright, and if we get everybody in five, within five minutes or less... Ooh, we get a trophy. That's nice. If we find everyone within five minutes or less, we get the, uh, the final part of the uh, cheer uh, trophy. Or, uh... uh Oh, we've collected all the minigames. Then we get the final part of the uh, cheer requirements. Alright, let's see. If we go up here... Let's see. Where'd Tigger go? Alright, I forget how to do this exactly, but... Uh, let's see. I see Owl over there. I saw Pooh walking away, so I bounced after him. Then I bounced a bit too high, and I lost sight of old Pooh Bear. Alrighty. Alright, Pooh Bear, you can stay right there. What are, wait, why are we locked onto these? What pretty flowers. Pooh's got to see this. There we go. There's Pooh Bear. Those are some really awesome flowers if they can uh, float a fat little bear like Pooh. Alright, let's see. Now, let's climb on the, uh, the stump here. And that'll get Pooh Bear to walk across. Assuming he's locked on. There we go. Go down here. We gotta cast fire, I think. See ya. There we go. Try not to singe Pooh Bear. Ah, oh, Pooh Bear, you son of a poo. Dude, poo. You bastard. Okay, stay up there. Don't. Eh, yeah, Pooh fell down. Where'd he go? Oh, he already made it up. No, no, stay up there. Stay up there. Stay up there. Why are you way over here, dude? Alright. Pooh Bear? Come here, owl. Or piglet. One of the two. Nobody knows where they are. If we come back the way we came, we should find home. Alright. 
Owl, my good sir. Where'd you go? He was right here a minute ago. Ah. Come here, owl. Alright, there we go. I thought we'd better have a word of the rule about his bouncing. Next thing I knew, quite to my surprise, I was lost too. Alright, uh, I'm not sure exactly where these other two are. Let's see... Let's see, I think... Oh, there's... there's... Piglet, come here, Piglet. I'm not sure if we gotta find Rabbit, actually. Alright, Rue should be somewhere to... Alright, come on, oh, oh, there's Rabbit, okay. Okay, rabbit. Dude, you're killing it. Alright. And I think I'm gonna miss this by like a few seconds because I took too long falling off the damn cliff. Alright, let's go find uh Oh there's Rue. Can I even get up? Oh, there he is. Okay, come on, talk. Did I get it? I think we got it. Barely. Everyone's here. That was pure luck right there. The torn page turned into a new item. Experience ring. That gives you like 20% extra experience when equipped. So that's pretty nice. Glad we're all together again. <laughs> I didn't know what to do when I was all alone. Oh, Piglet, you gotta be brave. You weren't lonely at all? Lonely? Are you kidding? I'm a Tigger. The most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. But I do admit, friends are awfully fun, too. <laughs> think, think, think. Hey, Pooh. What are you thinking about now? Oh, well, I'm just thinking about um, what to think about. <laughs> well, I'm off. Sora, where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Oh, I'm back again. <laughs> I hope you find your friends. forget we shall always be here if you'd like to visit again that is
And we got Pooh's friend trophy. That's a nice little touch where Sora appears on the book, drawn in the same style as the the Pooh family. And it's all locked up and everything, so that, that means the uh, world is sealed now. I think if we look at our journal... Uh, let's see... I guess it won't tell us there, never mind. Anyways, let's go back in there, because we still got to go get some other stuff. Remember that pile of uh, firewood in front of Pooh's house? Now, if you light it on fire, we get something out of it. I have a first... Experience ring. Slight your raises max MP, and, a, and a, uh, increases experience obtained by 20%. So yeah, pretty good. I personally prefer the uh, Holy Circlet for right now, or the Moogle Badge. But when I get our third accessory slot, I'll probably put that on for the experience. Speaking of experience, what is our... Yeah, we're pretty close to level. Anyways, uh, let's go back to uh, Pooh's house. And now let's light this bad boy on fire. See ya. Thank you, Sora. This is nice and warm. You've helped us so much. This is just something to say thank you. And we get a mithril for our efforts. Alright, let's go talk to Al about the that cheer ability. You've been a great help, Sora. Thank you. You help Pooh get away from, you, you help Pooh get honey from the bees. You help protect Rabbit's carrots. By the way, if he says you did this right here, that means you got the uh, high score. You got a high enough score for it to count towards your uh, your cheer ability. You helped find Eeyore's lost tail. You bounced along with Tigger and Roo, and you found all of us when we were lost. We can't thank you enough. This is from all of us in the Hundred Acre Woods. And Sora learns cheer. Very nice. Let's see. What should I? Probably gonna be the tech boost again. And the Hundred Acre Woods, the Hundred Acre, wo Hundred Acre Woods is officially complete. We no longer have to come back here for anything unless you want to play the mini games again, which uh, I don't. But let's go check out that Bambi Summon real fast. Now hurry up, get out of the. Uh... There you go. I do like the nice little touch of how the uh, book locks itself instead of Sora using his keyblade to lock it. That's a nice little touch. Alright, so let's go check out this uh, Bambi spell real fast. There you go. He's gonna drop. He's just gonna run around dropping MP balls all over the place, and then he'll drop items depending on if you uh, defeat enemies or not. Yeah, see, look at all those MP balls just dropping for us. See how his little bar fills up? That's uh, that's a, that's uh, how many enemies you've defeated, pretty much, basically. Every enemy you drop, or, or every enemy you defeat, fills up that bar a little more, and he drops an item. A lot of times it's gonna be synthesis items. Or it could be like potions or stuff like that. Okay, we still got a few more uh, seconds on Bambi's gauge here. Yeah, see, you're never going to run out of uh, MP with Bambi around, so that's really nice. So Bambi's really good for like the, um, for the, uh, whatchamacallits, uh, the white mushrooms, simply for the fact that he'll drop MP, and you won't have to worry about running out of MP. So yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, look at all that MP he dropped. It's ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and let Donald get some, or not. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got plenty of MP out of that. Yeah, we got a lot of items right there. I didn't, I didn't count them all, but we got a lot. Let's see if we can't get uh, some more out here in the uh, second district. Why not? Actually, you know where, you know where we probably get a good amount of items at? The, uh, the what should we call it? The, uh, ooh, not you again. The, uh... Thunder. Thunder. Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. I was gonna say the uh, gizmo shop over here, so let's go do that. There's a pretty good amount of enemies in here. There we go. Give me strength. Plus, Bambi's just so cute. He's all running around, just dropping new people all free items. He's a cute little bugger, isn't he? I think he's cute. And he's shy and everything. Yeah, I think the items that he drops does depend on the enemies you're defeating, but uh, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, what every enemy drops. Yeah, look at all the stuff he's dropping for me. He's a great guy, isn't he? Anybody else? Oh, I thought there was more in here. No? I swore there was more enemies in here. But yeah, he's giving me so much MP that it's uh, refilling the little yellow things. Yep, there is Bambi, our other summon, who's uh, pretty good, actually, for items, and your MP, too. Alright, so next time, we're going to head off to that uh, that next uh, level 7 or 8... Oh, uh, I thought you were an enemy, Goofy. We're going to head off to that level 7 or 8 battle world, whatever one it is, and uh, we're going to go take care of that. That's actually not a very long world, so that'll be easy enough to uh, get through in a few episodes, like two. And then after that... Oh, we'll, go, we'll go to that. Uh, we'll go to that world, and then we'll keep on looking for Kyra and Riku. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.